Hello everyone, I am Afroluigi, welcome back to Star Trek Voyager Elite Forces, I'm going to be up front with you. I've actually already went through and recorded and beat the game while recording it. I have got to go back and re-record this episode because I've been dealing with some Windows errors and they've been messing with my drivers and one of my video files got corrupted while editing. So I have to go back and re-record this. So I've already played through this section, so I already know where to go and stuff like that. So we're going to be going through, and I'm just going to be replaying it just so it's complete. And I kind of... Hey Monroe, they're waiting for you down below. They're having some trouble with the docking clamps, but I think Salma and Lang are on it. So I basically know where I'm going, and I basically checked up ahead on how to where I'm going. So we'll keep going until I'm caught up to where I'm... For, for the next episode, whoops. All right. of their ships, I guess. Yeah, I thought I saw a cavort class bird of prey in there. Yeah, Klingons. Yeah, what's with that anyway? I mean, are we allies with the Klingons? I heard Chakotay saying they didn't answer hails, but maybe they have no comm system. Anyway, they attacked us, so they must be hostile. Yeah, who knows how long they've been here. They might not even know we're allies. Right. <sighs> I was very proud of myself the last time I recorded this for me to get up here. to Paris. I'm down below, but there's a serious exhaust leak down here. I can't get to the overrides. Hey, Les, can you send one of your men down there? If we can't get those docking clamps released, we'll be going nowhere fast. Sure. Monroe, you don't look busy. Get down below and see what you can do. So we're good. Uh, nope. Careful. That's highly compressed seroton gas. It's gotta be over 500 degrees. Yeah, I don't need to take that kind of heat. Though. I just need to go this way. And we'll drop down, unleash the docking clamps, and move forward. No, docking clamps right here. There we go. Good work, Monroe. Good. Get back up here, Monroe. Let's get this show. Paris at your service. I will be your captain for this flight. I estimate a cruising speed of about two thirds impulse power and an elapsed time of just under five. All right, Captain. We're all set here. Okay, all aboard. <laughs> oh, Tom. This is your Captain speaking. The in-flight movie will be Captain Proton versus the Robo Zombies. Thank you for flying Delta Flyer Airlines, and we hope you have a pleasant flight. I still think Voyager, of all the Star Trek series, has the best holodeck episodes. Especially the Captain Proton ones, because every time Captain Proton comes up, something goes horribly wrong, and a whole bunch of the crew members need end up needing to join the uh, Captain Proton simulation. So this is thing is a little. This part is a little bit of a stealth mission, and the stealth mechanics aren't really there. subspace comm channel, but try to maintain comm silence unless absolutely necessary. When I give the signal, return here. We'll have pattern enhancers set up to beam us out. Now, if I recall, uh, yeah, we're basically near the uh, bridge right now, which is kind of a silly place to enter. 
Okay, Monroe. We'll be able to track you for a little while here. We'll try to alert you to any dangers we can detect. Yeah. Careful. No running. Footsteps could alert the Klingons. Stay quiet. I hear ya. We're right on the Klingon bridge. That's where we came in. You figure this place would be very would be the most secure, but watch it. There's a couple of life signs just ahead. Lean around the corner and check it out. Now, this is the stealth part, and this, like I said, the stealth mechanics aren't really here. Can't tell if she's getting closer or not. No, she's just on the other side. Oh, right there. <laughs> Last time I did this, I failed the stealth, and I actually wasn't able to get through here stealthily. I had to fight my way through. And I made it this time. Nice. So I'm doing better on my uh, stealth in, in this. Oh, crud. Odell checking in, sir. Go ahead. I found some isodesium. This section looks male on in design. Run down, lots of fog. Radiation levels are high. Roger. Foster out. Ah, Uh, I think, are these guys supposed to leave at one point? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, there they go, leaving. Now, you figure they would hear that, but... That's where we're supposed to be going. Okay. There's a Klingon just around the corner, isn't there? Yep, right there. No way for him to go over there, and then we're gonna go duck around the corner. There he goes. Yeah, I knew there was no way he didn't. He saw. He uh. Telsia checking in, sir. Go ahead. I found a sample of the isodesium, sir. This area looks like a Federation ship, early twenty-third century, but I don't recognize these markings. This is not an archaeological expedition. Just get the samples and get out. Roger, sir. Telsia out. Well, it was a good raid. Raids. <sighs> we are Klingons, not Orion pirates. There is no honor in raids. 
And we have to put up with those insufferable Melon Patoks. And those irritating humans. <laughs> at least they're a good buffer from erosion. Buffer! Now you sound like a rock. <laughs> Coming right for us. Let's Yeah, there, I didn't make that stealth check last time either. Oh boy, and we're going downstairs where all those Klingons are. Oh. Um. Ah, here we go. He's definitely being followed. Where's the door I'm supposed to be playing in this room anyways? I think it's over there, on the other side of the Klingon, of course. Yep. Tell Siet to Monroe. Monroe here. I need a diversion. This area is heavily guarded. Can you transfer power away from this quadrant? Ah, come on. Alright, so the stealth mechanics really aren't there. Sorry, sir. Just get the isodesium and get back here. Monroe, Ken here. You're in the Klingon engineering section. There should be a power transfer console on the top level. Roger. Uh, you'll know it when you see it. Okay. There we go. It's this thing. The uh, human console. He was referring to. What do you want, saboteurs? What? Why did you divert our power? We did not. Our whole section is on emergency lights. Ah, so much the better. Now you won't have to see each other's repugnant face. <laughs> <laughs> We're not leaving until you return power to our sector. This patak must be hallucinating. I know what that word means. And what are you going to do about it? We have to be two to one. When Rhoda Foster, I have the last sample of isodesium. I'm on my way back. Hold on, Monroe. Odell hasn't reported back yet. We can't get any response from him. Can you go check it out? Yeah, I'm right by the entrance to the Malon area. Good. See if you can find Odell, but be careful. Foster out. When road to Ken, there's a security door at the Malon entrance. <laughs> Roger. I'll see if I can override it from here.
can't wait for the, ta the section of the story where we don't have to worry about the um, stealth. Because this game is really not designed for a stealth mission. Yeah, yeah, I guess we're going through that doorway over there. At least it doesn't. This game doesn't punish you for failing the stealth checks. Need to get over there. How do I get over there, though? Nothing in here. I don't remember having this much trouble last time. Oh. Derp. It's right through here. Oh, perfect. Uh, this is what I needed after the uh, bug scrippled me. Oh, crap. Ah, crud. Jumping puzzles are not my thing. Of course, I went the wrong way. There we go. That was close. Oh, we're, I think this is the, we're getting closer to the erosion sector section of the ship. I don't think they're coming. Those stupid paranoid erosion. They locked all their doors. How are we supposed to tell them? I guess they don't want anyone stealing their supplies. That wasn't us. Well, let's just keep waiting and see if they come. I remember where I have to go for this part. I have to get down there.
And I need to get where All right. There, I don't need any of that kind of... I do need health. And let's keep going. Ah, here we go. This is the erosion sector of the ship. He's on a hunt. Some fresh prey, I hear. Now, if I played up till the Terran section of the uh, story. Well, somewhere around there. Where's the way out? possible to stealth through this. I don't think I've ever actually successfully stealth through this area. And it makes sense that you wouldn't be able to get past the uh, erosion. They are expert hunt. They're a race of hunters after all. It's their, it's their kind of their entire deal. And that's the next stage. Through that duct. Ah, here we go. Found oh, Adele. Yes, sir. I was ambushed. The weapon. Communicator. Taken. Never saw them. Save your strength, Tom. I'll beam you out of here. Monroe to Foster. I found Odell. He's hurt bad. I'm beaming him back to the extraction point with his isodesium. Understood. Foster out. Monroe. Wait. I still have to get one more sample of the isodesium. Don't worry, Tom. I'll get it. Be careful. Ambush. Go figure. He got ambushed in the section of the ship belonging to the hunters. Yeah, the the Terran section of the ship. Monroe to Foster. I found the last piece of isodesium. There's a huge bay between us. There's a crane system of some sort, but the control room is on the other side. Wait a second, Alex. I think I know where you are. I was just there. Hold on. Okay, I'm here. I see the controls. Give me just a second. Tell you behind. 
Thank you. Take her alive. Oh. Now we gotta go rescue Chelsea as well as get the SD in there. we're gonna get her. We're the FPS. We're the first person shooter protagonist. Nothing can stop us. There we go. Got the exodesium. And now we move on through that door there, I'm pretty sure. You can tell that not much at this point is known about the Terran Empire because Telsey didn't recognize it. But yeah, your universe is a lot of fun. Oh, this is where I ended the episode. This is where I ended the episode last time, as where the next episode begins. So I'm gonna end it here. I'll see you guys in the next episode, which will be my past, your future. T a having to go back and re-record things is fun. Bye.